Johannes Müller von Königsberg, today best known by the Latin epithet Regimontanus, was a German mathematician, astronomer, astrologer, translator, instrument maker and Catholic bishop. He was born in the Franconian village of Unfinden, now part of Königsberg, Bavaria, not in the more famous East Prussian Königsberg. He was also known as Johannes der Königsberger. His writings were published under the name of Johannes de Monte Regia, a Latinized version of his name. Both names mean John of King's Mountain. The name Regimontanus was first coined by Philip Melanchthon in 1534, 58 years after Regimontanus had death, life. At 11 years of age, Regimontanus became a student at the university in Leipzig, Saxony. In 1451 he continued his studies at Alma Mater Rudolfina, the university in Vienna, Austria. There he became a pupil and friend of Georg von Puebach. In 1452 he graduated with a bar and was awarded his Magister Arsham at the age of 21 in 1457. It is known that he held lectures in optics and ancient literature. Regimontanus continued to work with pure back learning and extending the then-known areas of astronomy, mathematics and instrument making until pure Bach's death in 1461. In 1460 the papal legate Basilios Bessarion came to Vienna on a diplomatic mission. Being a humanist scholar and great fan of the mathematical sciences, Bessarion sought out pure Bach's company. George of Trebizond who was Bessarion's philosophical rival had recently produced a new Latin translation of Ptolemy's Almagest from the Greek, which Bessarion, correctly, regarded as inaccurate and badly translated, so he asked Puebach to produce a new one. Puebach's Greek was not good enough to do a translation but he knew the Almagest intimately so instead he started work on a modernized improved abridgment of the work. Bessarion also invited Pua back to become part of his household and to accompany him back to Italy when his work in Vienna was finished. Puebach accepted the invitation on the condition that Regia Montanus could also accompany them. However Puebach fell ill in 1461 and died only having completed the first six books of his abridgment of the Almagest. On his deathbed Puebach made Regimontanus promise to finish the book and publish it. In 1461 Regimontanus left Vienna with Bessarion and spent the next four years traveling around northern Italy as a member of Bessarion's household, looking for and copying mathematical and astronomical manuscripts for Bessarion, who possessed the largest private library in Europe at the time. Regimontanus also made the acquaintance of the leading Italian mathematicians of the age such as Giovanni Bianchini and Paolo Dalpo. Otto Toscanelli, who had also been friends of Puebach during his prolonged stay in Italy more than 20 years earlier. During his time in Italy he completed Puebach's Almagest abridgment, Epitoma in Almagest Ptolemy. In 1464, he completed De Triangulis Omnimodis. De Triangulis was one of the first textbooks presenting the current state of trigonometry and included lists of questions for review of individual chapters. In it he wrote, You who wish to study great and wonderful things, who wonder about the movement of the stars, must read these theorems about triangles. Knowing these ideas will open the door to all of astronomy and to certain geometric problems. His work on arithmetic and algebra, Algorithmus Demonstratus, was among the first containing symbolic algebra. In 1465, he built a portable sundial for Pope Paul II. In Epitoma in Almagest Ptolemy, he critiqued the translation of Almagest by George of Trebizond, pointing out inaccuracies. Later Nicolaus Copernicus would refer to this book as an influence on his own work. He went to work for Janos Vites, Archbishop of Estegum. There he calculated extensive astronomical tables and built astronomical instruments. Later he went to Buda and the court of Matthias Corvinus of Hungary, for whom he built an astrolabe, and where he collated Greek manuscripts for a handsome salary. 
In 1471 Regimontanus moved to the free city of Nuremberg, in Franconia, then one of the empire's important seats of learning, publication, commerce and art, where he worked with the humanist and merchant Bernhard Walther. Here he founded the world's first scientific printing press, and in 1472 he published the first printed astronomical textbook. The Theorice Novi Planetarum of his teacher Georg von Perbach. In 1475 he was called to Rome to work with Pope Sixtus IV on calendar reform. Regimontanus died of unknown causes in Rome, July 6, 1476, a month after his 40th birthday. According to a rumor repeated by Gassendi in his Regimontanus biography, he was assassinated by relatives of George of Trebizond whom he had criticized in his writings. More likely he died in an epidemic raging in Rome at the time. A prolific author, Regimontanus was internationally famous in his lifetime. Despite having completed only a quarter of what he had intended to write, he left a substantial body of work. Nicolaus Copernicus a teacher, Domenico Maria Navarra da Ferrara, referred to Regimontanus as having been his own teacher. There is speculation that Regimontanus had arrived at a theory of heliocentrism before he died. A manuscript shows particular attention to the heliocentric theory of the Pythagorean Aristarchus. Mention was also given to the motion of the Earth in a letter to a friend. In 1561, Daniel Sandbeck compiled a collected edition of the works of Regimontanus. De triangulis planis a sphaeris is libri quincum compositia tabularum sinum recto, as well as St. Beach's own problematum astronomicorum a geometricorum sectionis septum. It was published in Basel by Henrik Petrie and Petrus Perna. The crater Regimontanus on the Moon is named after him. The Comet of 1472 Regimontanus and Bernhard Walther observed the Comet of 1472. Regimontanus tried to estimate its distance from Earth using the angle of parallax. According to David A. Seagent, in agreement with the prevailing Aristotelian theory on comets as atmospheric phenomena, he estimated its distance to be at least 8,200 miles and, from this, estimated the central condensation as 26, and the entire coma as 81 miles in diameter. Regio Mantus established Nuremberg as a center for astronomical and mathematical studies and, during the 15th and 16th centuries, the city was renowned for producing celestial, as well as terrestrial globes. It comes as no surprise, then, that there is an image of him in Hartmann Schedel's 1493 Nuremberg Chronicle. He is holding an astrolabe. Yet, although there are 13 illustrations of comets in their chronicle, they are stylized rather than representing the actual objects. The 1472 comet was visible from Christmas Day 1471 to the 1st of March 1472, a total of 59 days. Astrology Regimontanus designed his own astrological house system in the 15th century, which became one of the most popular systems in Europe. As a young man, he cast horoscopes for important patrons, and the tables that he created while living in Hungary, his tabulae directionum, were designed for astrology, including finding astrological houses. Criticism Much of the material on spherical trigonometry in Regimontanus or on triangles was taken directly and without credit from the 12th century work of Jabir ibn Afla otherwise known as Geber, as noted in the 16th century by Gerolamo Cardano. Literature Irma Labuse Johannes Regimontanus in Frankish Elevens Builder 11 Neustadt, Eich 1984, pp. 28-43. Rudolf Met. Regimontanus. Wegbereiter des Neuen Weltbilds. Kjöbner, by Weg, Stuttgart, Leipzig 1996, ISBN 3-8154-2510-7. Helmut Jerich. 
Mathematik immer Bendland, von den Romerschen Feldmessern bis zu Descartes, Springer Verlag, Berlin 1990, ISBN 3-540-51206-3, Gunther Harman, Regimontanus Studien, Vienna 1980, ISBN 3-7001-0339-5, Samuel Elliott Morrison, Christopher Columbus, Mariner, Boston, Little, Brown and Company, 1955, Ralph Kern, Wissenschaftliche Instrumente in Irozite Band 1, von Masterlabs am Mathematischen Besteck, Köln, 2010, ISBN 9783-86560-865-9,